Hello everyone and welcome back to the workbench. Today I'm going to be bringing you my review of the Smith & Wesson SW40VE pistol. Uh, let's get right through the specs first and foremost. Uh, you can see that the firearm is unloaded, no magazine. The magazine that's present here on the workbench is unloaded. No rounds of ammunition anywhere. The average cost of this gun is around $300, but you can find them as low as about $250 uh, if you know where to look. It is a semi-automatic striker-fired pistol. It is a full-size gun, as you can see. This one is chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson, but they do make a, an identical firearm to this, chambered in 9mm. That is the SW9VE or the SD9VE. The SD is the newer version of the SW series. It is, the frame is black polymer, slide of course is brushed stainless steel. Cost of ammunition for this gun, 40 Smith & Wesson, you're talking right around 38 cents a round for Winchester White Box and about a dollar and five cents for the Hornady Critical Defense round, the 165 grain FTX. Weights, unloaded 20.6 magazine, 2.8 ounces, uh, both together 23.4, full magazine 7.7 .7 ounces. The weight of a fully loaded magazine inserted into the firearm plus one, so 15 rounds of ammunition plus a full magazine and the gun itself, 28.85 ounces. Not far away from two full pounds. Uh, it's a bit heavy to carry concealed in my opinion, but we'll get to that. Overall length of this firearm as me measured from the muzzle to the back of this point right here is 7.31 inches. The overall height from the top of the sights to actually the bottom of this magazine is 5.5 inches. The overall width of the slide, one inch exactly. The overall width of the grip is 1.19 inches, but the widest part of the gun is actually, if I can show you here, the thumb rests stick out quite a bit. That measurement is 1.31 inches. Barrel length, 4 inches. Magazine capacity, 14 rounds, but you can get the 10 round magazine capacity in compliance states. It is a single action pistol. The sight system is a fixed three dot sight. These are not adjustable. They are made of polymer. The tr uh, safeties on this, trigger, uh, all basically all internal safeties with the exception of this Smith & Wesson signature broken trigger. Um, intended purpose for this firearm was a budget friendly personal defense weapon if you will. Uh, really it's just meant for home defense or personal defense so maybe an everyday carry. I, again I wouldn't recommend a concealment for this but you absolutely can if, if you're a budget-minded individual and you want the hard-hitting 40 Smith & Wesson round, this could be a concealable firearm for you depending on your size. Unique features and options, there really aren't any. Uh, again, it's a budget-friendly pistol. It's not designed or intended to be a bells and whistles or you could trick it out like a Glock, you could put anything on it, do anything to it. Um, you can get a trigger upgrade and I recommend it. Um, Accessories, they do make kind of an aftermarket Picatinny rail that connects right here. And uh, you could put a laser on that, a little micro laser or whatever you want, micro light. Really whatever you can fit onto a compact pistol will fit on the aftermarket uh, Picatinny rail that you can attach to that point. My remarks on this gun, it is surprisingly manageable for a 40 Smith & Wesson round, it really, it feels like you're shooting a 9mm the way the recoil is. And I think that's due to how the weight of this firearm is distribu distributed. Yes, it is a little heavy, um, but it's top heavy. And it's all in the slide here. The frame really doesn't weigh a whole lot at all. Uh, it's very top heavy. So when you fire, you've got all this weight that's, it, that that round is trying to move. And because of that, it doesn't recoil very much uh, at all, in my opinion. At least it doesn't feel like it does, compared to actually even some 9mm subcompacts. Uh, they recoil harder than this one does. The trigger 
on these 11 pounds average 11 pounds there are some folks who have had 12 pound triggers on on these firearms it is an probably the heaviest trigger that i have ever experienced on a firearm uh, and i have a double single double action ruger p95 with a nine uh, nine pound trigger i thought that was heavy until i shot this this is extremely heavy so again i recommend if you are a budget minded individual and you choose to pick up either the SW or the SD series pistol from Smith & Wesson, first thing you should do is, is change out this trigger. I don't like the trigger design on this safety broken trigger, so I actually changed mine out on my M&P, but uh, just the internals here, you can clean it up. Uh, there's forums out there you can look at, but I recommend a trigger job first and foremost. Smith & Wesson, great company, awesome uh, warranty. So. In terms of reliability, these guns are very, very reliable. They're built as tanks. Um, they're built to just shoot. And if you ever come across one that doesn't shoot, Smith & Wesson, of course, will take it back and fix it and make sure that it does when you get it back. Disassembly. Smith & Wesson was actually sued by Glock on the original Sigma Series pistols, which is this one here, because of the way... It breaks down. Uh, Glock saw it as a patent infringement, and uh, I believe they won. So let's show you how this breaks down. If you're familiar with Glock at all, you will be familiar with how they break down. Really, make sure the firearm is empty. That is the very first thing you should always do anytime you pick up a firearm. Doesn't matter, pistol, rifle, shotgun, anyway. Now that it's taken down, on either side here, you see these little, well, it, it's not a lever, but uh, it's more of a spring action. Grab both of them and pull them straight down while pulling the slide back. That's all that it takes. That much movement in the slide, hardly any at all. Pull those down, pull the slide back. Then holding the top, pull the trigger, and it slides right off. With the frame aside, I'll show you the internals here. The recoil spring is just single. Uh, in most 9mm today, you'll actually, full size 9mm, you'll actually find a dual capture recoil spring, uh, especially in compacts. But this ha just has one, and it's actually really surprising that it doesn't recoil more. But uh, this spring is pretty beefy. And then, of course, your barrel comes out. Reassembly, barrel first. The smaller end of the two goes forward. It's not as difficult as I'm making it look. There we go. And then you simply slide goes over those two points right there straight back and that's it you're done so again the firearm is uh, incredibly well made for a budget friendly firearm again this is the SW series the new ones of these are the SD series uh, but again you can find one of these relatively inexpensive very very good pistol for the money Again, the first thing I would do is change out that trigger, but it's a very good pistol made by a very reputable company, and if you are on a budget but you're still looking for the power of a 40 caliber pistol, this is a great gun to choose. Uh, as always, I will include the PDF document that I have created for the specs on this firearm. That is available in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I will talk to you all again very soon.